Modern Warfare 3 has a massive problem, and no, I don't just mean an overpowered weapon or a little game-breaking glitch like, you know, on sub-base hardpoint. No, I'm talking about things that are a little bit bigger that actually drastically change the user experience and completely demoralize you while you're playing the game. Now, I'm not even talking about cheaters, actually. I'm talking about in-game things that are throwing off Modern Warfare 3 ranked play. And the biggest one is the way that we lose SR. I have lost over a thousand SR so far in Modern Warfare 3 ranked play off of not even losing a game. And that is a massive issue. Currently, there are multiple ways this can happen. There is one, a connecting glitch where you connect to the game and you will just never spawn into the game and you automatically take the loss for that game, which that sucks, you never even have to play the game, right? Another major issue is the crashing in game. And the crashing is something that is very frustrating because I personally have lost about 600 SR today as I'm recording this video crashing. And I have some ways that you might be able to fix that if you're on PC, so stick around to the end of the video and as well as uh, playing cheaters. And che people who are cheating are not blatantly cheating always. Some people are, there were spin botters in Modern Warfare 2 ranked play. I haven't seen any in Modern Warfare 3 ranked play. Cross your fingers. However, it's very frustrating when you are playing against somebody who just always has that awareness. He just always knows what corner you're in. And I, I only have a few blatant examples. I don't like to call everybody a cheater, but you know, sometimes you, you start to wonder and sometimes you start playing some off angles or do something a little strange and you can actually run into somebody who does this right here. Dude, how did he just, he's front side. I need to see this. Oh my God, no, there's no way. And this is, I'm not sure if this is sus, but the problem was that this entire hard point game that we were playing, it was close, it was competitive. These guys were really good. They had really good guns. They were shooting very well. And at, towards the end of the game, the only thing that got me, that even made me question what was going on with this guy was this, the clip that I just played for you guys. And the clip made me, it made me wonder because I was off, usually people are holding the head glitch there and he directly centered on my head when I was, you know, laying down. And that's what threw me, that's what made me start questioning it. And then uh, my teammates were like, oh my God, this guy is walling. And I'm like, what? And then I'm like, oh my God, he did just like, center on my head perfectly and he got really defensive after the game because my teammates started calling him out but yeah cheaters are really going to ruin this you already know you've seen everybody talk about it that the cheaters are ruining it but it really hurts but the problem that i have with ranked play right now is that i am not i don't necessarily think i'm losing more sr of cheaters maybe there's more people walling that i just don't know about but I know in Modern Warfare 2, it felt like there were, when you got to the higher ranks, there were people just blatantly walling in almost every lobby, or they just had headsets cranked up with sound EQ on, you know, blasting it, which, which I don't know, people could be doing that. I know that Modern Warfare 3 covert sneakers don't make you silent. They make your footsteps silent. You can still hear minuscule sounds. Is that the right word? Minuscule. You can still hear sounds in the game from the character moving. But the most frustrating part in this game is when you start crashing and you crash and you lose SR and you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't even lose the game and you crash. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to stop crashing today because I think I fixed it for myself. I've played almost all day since I've made the switch. I have not had an issue. And previously I was crashing every six to seven games probably. I've played about 15 or 20 and have not had an issue. I'm just really tired. I played about 12 hours today. So I'm, I've, I've gotten my time in and uh, yeah, we didn't go anywhere. So one of the first things you always wanna check is if you're on PC, Windows, updates if you're on console check for a console update and check for your network settings make sure your network settings are all good make sure there's no issues if you can't open your nat all the way that's fine but um just make sure that you have good network connection and your ping times always look look reasonable for uh, always uh, have your latency up in the top left if you can so you know what a normal latency is there are different servers throughout the united states and wherever you live so those servers will have different ping times and you will slowly be able to you know, notice what is a proper ping and you'll know sometimes you'll get 80 or 90 but when you start getting over 100 that's when you should probably be like okay this is off my internet might be off and that does lead to crashing as well on console well the first thing you should do is to restart your system once you crash just restart your whole system it's probably the best thing to do there's just lots of ways that the game can get stuck in like memory and ram and you just want to you want to blank it out you just want to turn the whole thing off maybe let it sit for a minute or two and restart your and restart your console xbox or ps5 or if that does not work, this is the worst part is you can install the game and reinstall the game. This will rewrite all the files. It will, you know, delete everything and rewrite all new files, hopefully leading to cleaner files and, you know, the game being uh, maybe less storage and the game taking up less storage overall. This is just a good thing to do for your, for your console and a good thing to do on computer as well. 
Moving over to PC, and PCs are so hard to troubleshoot sometimes, especially when it comes to you know, third-party applications on your computer. If you guys have the ability to, I would have a gaming PC and a streaming PC. And even though you have all this, it will not stop crashing. So one thing that I know is that if your graphics driver is not up to date, you will have major issues. You'll have FPS issues and you'll have weird stuff going on in the game. So be sure to always update your drivers. If you ever crash, the first thing you should do is check your drivers. And the next thing you should do is set notifications on for whenever a new version of software comes out for your graphics card. This will mean that you won't that you won't take an, a week or two hiatus on the new update with before installing it. You won't wait to crash. You'll be able to install it right away. Most of these uh, most of these patches and updates are always tested and they're going to be the gold standard as they call them for for your graphics card. So that's a good thing to do you should always be installing the new drivers second check for a windows update windows updates will have many small drivers that help everything talk and will fix small bugs that it might have and these might be causing issues in on your computer lastly scan and repair is something else that you can do as a quick immediate fix also with restarting your computer and if none of these work uninstall and reinstall the game lastly if you go onto your computer and go into event viewer i know this is going a little far you might be able to go into application for your event viewer and scroll through and you might be able to see a critical error in there if you see a critical error in there you might be able to get a, a bug or an error code and look that up along with whenever you crash you might be able to get error codes to look up as well so i hope some of these tips do help you guys because i know that, the, that right now i've had no issues after i uninstalled and reinstalled the game and i checked my drivers and also make sure that your graphics card is not overclocked I know I had that issue where I had it on and I the only overclock I had was an undervolt on my graphics card because I was told that was going to help out with some things and I've never had an issue with it. So I don't even think that was the issue because um, after I uninstalled and reinstalled the game, that got that completely fixed in my game. So I have not had an issue ever since then. So I hope this video helped somebody out. If it did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Appreciate you.